I mean, literally, this process has been going on for a year and a half now. So it was birthed um, as an idea, how can we produce this body of It came about when Anka came to me and said, would you like to have a show at the Academy Art Museum? And I said, absolutely. So, well, I couldn't just go and borrow people's dining room tables that I needed for two months. So I knew I needed to produce a body of work that could sh be shown here. And it first started off as a retrospective, but then came the opportunity to really produce new work, explore new methods of manipulating wood and create a body of work that was reflective of who I am today. Don't, I think my furniture is form and function. What, what I think where we can make the deviation from is this show is a separation from commission work to producing work that it is a functional piece, but it has more of the concept of going into functional art. And that's, I think, where that this was a break. When, you know, when somebody commissions you to do a piece, it's all functional and it's within guidelines. A Here's a table, it needs to be this dimension and within these guidelines you can do this, X. Well, there is no X, there is no Y, there, it is what the piece of wood is. It is what this bendable piece of wood wants to become. It, there are no guidelines. But what I found most interesting was the people that supported the seed project were individuals who understood process. That was really, really interesting to me. Um, somebody, you know, somebody might have a lot, a lot of money, and I would ask them to support me, but they were like, well, what is it in it for me? Return on investment. And it's not even a return on investment, because you, you, the, they were investing in me, and as a return, they were becoming part of this process because they were getting progress reports. So there was no there was no financial gain. It was they were buying into this process, into the show. And so what I tried to give back was involving them as much as I could in the process. I would send them emails and I'd send them emails where I'm like, these are my struggles. So I really wanted them to get an in, I, they gave me a piece of themselves, so I wanted to give them a piece back and really let them see this is the, my process. And I noticed that, you know, I, I've, I've been kind of a horse that's been, had its flaps on and I've been on a single track and I was aware of it. So this was a op wonderful op opportunity to take those um, blinders off and see that there's a greater world and that's when my wife, Jackie, came in. She really encouraged me to shift and introduce new materials. Uh, lex uh, plexiglass, uh, metal, stone, and you'll see I cast concrete and I collaborated with um, uh, artists up in Philadelphia who cast concrete and they gave me pointers. I worked with Ken Hurley who helped me um, with the marble base and I suddenly I'm grinding and cutting and sanding marble and I'm watching this grain of this marble come alive. And sanding marble is a lot of work, but it was fun, you know. I learned something about me in the mid... So that, push, push on your own. And, and the thing is, it's to, Ken, Ken said to me, wow, you're really in control of these tools. And I said, it doesn't matter whether it's a woodworking tool or a stone tool. It's the same tool. We're just working on different mediums. So. I think what I want people to see is that wood, there, there is more to wood than what, what we have in our scope, in our box. You know, I always talk about a box. And I want people to see that there's a world outside the scope of their box and the potential of what one can do with wood is, is limited, really. And that, in reflection to life, we are all in our box, but really the potential that we have as um, individuals, and actually there's a piece here called Potential, and it's based on 
the potential of an individual. If you give an individual a situation where they can flourish, like the Academy Art Museum, it would, I'm allowed to produce this kind of work that really shows who I am and my truth, my inner, inner truth. And, and hopefully with the mood that I set here, I give people the courage to find that in their own life and in, in their own uh, way of being.